you know, now I really have the opportunity to uh, just expand myself. And uh, obviously I'm excited. Uh, DC is a wonderful town. Um, I actually just came back from DC. I was there for you know, probably a good weekend. So, you know, just moving around, seeing the city, um, you know, and just trying to connect with things, you know, it was great. And your defense has gotten a lot better over the past few years. I'm wondering what you uh, contribute, uh, contribute to that. Bro. Uh, just trying to be as great as I can. Um, you know, just trying to improve every year. And, you know, especially with uh, the situation that I was in, um, you know, that's something that I really, really had to do um, to, you know, improve, but also to, you know, be on the court. And, um, you know, I was thankful enough to have, um, obviously, you know, Frank Vogel did a great job having great schemes and, you know, he, he he does a great job of putting players into position to succeed, but, um, you know, watching film, um, you know, just, and also just, you know, having the mindset of, you know, I want to become a better defender. And I think for defense, that's, that's uh, something that's going to be really important to me uh, this season, but also, uh, you know, this team as well, this ball club. Kareem. Thank you. Hey, hey, what's up, Kyle? Kareem from the Washington Post, man. Congrats. Uh, welcome to D.C. Thank you. Um, you know, first couple of years of your career, you know, is has been wild out there with the way the team changed and guys that came to the team and winning the title and all that. I'm just curious, what do you think are some of the biggest things that you kind of took from that e entire experience? Because, um, you know, some guys, that's a lot to go through in just a couple of short years that, I think some guys go through an entire career and might not have all of that kind of change and swirling around them. Yeah, you know, it's, um, you know, it's a, a, a form of adversity. It's something that you have to really, you know, face and um, take head on, you know, obviously changing roles. It's, um, it's tough, especially when you're a young player, when you're trying to establish yourself. And um, it's, it's much, much easier for, you know, an older guy, you know, uh, nine, 10, 11 year guy to fill in and fit a void that a team needs. So, you know, I, I kind of learned that on the fly. Um, and, you know, by doing that, it's probably, probably the best thing that really ever happened to me because, you know, if you look at my career, if you look at my first two years, um, you know, I was a main option. I was a scoring threat, uh, which I can still do. But now going through, um, you know, the type of role changes and the type of environment and culture that I was in, it really allowed me to, you know, I, I just really believe that I can I can do it all on the floor. You know, I think that I can play make, I can make people better. I think uh, obviously I can score, I can rebound, I can defend um, at a high level. And, um, you know, it's it was super, super important for my growth. And it's only going to help me uh, this season with the Wizards and um, the rest of my career. And a quick follow up, you know, curious, you know, what was, you know, can you take us through where you were when you when you heard about the trade, you know, what your first thoughts are? And also, you know, you just mentioned all the things that you have in your game now. What's kind of the, you mentioned your development. What is the next step of your development? Um, you know, um, I think the next step of my development is, you know, what I've been really working on this summer, uh, really been challenging myself, um, you know, in, in the weight room. Um, that's first, uh, obviously getting stronger, getting my body right. Um, I want to continue to be, you know, a defender. You know, I think I have uh, the potential to do really, really great things on that uh, side of the ball. And, um, you know, on top of that, this season or this offseason, I've really done a great job of just hammering uh, my ball, handling my handling. Um, I think last year with the Lakers, I did a great job of, you know, showing and, um, you know, being a, w a willing, willing passer, someone that could get guys open, get guys open looks. And, you know, for me, you know, adding a handle and a more consistent, stronger one is really going to allow me to, uh, you know, be an on ball type of guy, uh, not only just to score and be that type of threat, but be the threat to, you know, get guys open, get uh, Rui open shots, get Brad easier looks, um, help Spencer get downhill, um, you know, get, get a uh, big Gafford, um, pick and roll lobs, you know, all those things, um, you know, it's going to help. Cool, cool. Appreciate you. Yep. Chase. Hey, man, uh, Chase Hughes of NBC Sports. Welcome to D.C. Um, there's been a, a lot of change on this roster the, the last few weeks, a lot of new players. As you look at the group of players on the Wizards right now, just kind of what stands out to you? 
Um, you know, um, I think we've got a lot of depth. Uh, I think that's the number one thing that stands out. You know, obviously you have Brad there, um, you know, superstar type of player. Uh, Spencer is a, you know, a really, really, really good uh, point guard. You know, that's something that, you know, I've watched a little bit more ever since, you know, the trade went down and whatnot. Um, you know, just dissecting his game. Um, you know, obviously you have Rui there, him being, a, you know, a modern day type of four man in this NBA, you know, someone that I see that has a lot of potential. You know, I think he can, you know, do some really good things in this league um, and so on and so forth. You know, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a roster that's young, but also, um, you know, we have a good mixture. You know, I think uh, my second year in the NBA with the Lakers, um, you know, we had, we had a team that, you know, before injuries, you know, it was very cohesive from a standpoint of having um, really good vets, but also young talent. And, um, you know, this is like, you know, the, kind of like that team we kind of had in that type of sense. So, um, yeah, man, I'm excited. I'm excited. And I saw somewhere that you mentioned, um, you know, wanting to become a leader as you kind of move forward in your career and, and what you've learned from being around guys like LeBron and, and the great players that you've played with and been around, um, what do you take from them? And as you try to, you know, continue to mature as an NBA player? Uh, professionalism. I think that's the number one thing. Um, I think that's very, very important when you're, you know, trying to build a winning culture, um, you know, a culture that can contend for championships. Um, you need professionalism. Um, you need humility. You need to be able to understand people, um, you know, understand, how certain people act to, you know, uh, certain different situations. And also just, um, you know, you, you, have to, you, have to, you have to lead by example. You know, you can't just be a talker. You can't just do that. But, you know, in order for guys to respect you and um, respect, you know, your knowledge of the game, you have to do it uh, at a high level and, and show it every day. So, um, you know, for me being around guys like LeBron, uh, Rajon Rondo, um, even my second year, Tyson Chandler, um, you know, so many people, you know, have really influenced me um, and also influenced my professionalism in this league and how I, um, you know, care about basketball and just care about my profession. So, um, yeah. Fred. Hey, Kyle, Fred Katz from The Athletic. How you doing? I'm good. How you doing? I'm good. Thanks. Um, I'm just curious, you, you guys have now a bunch of guys who kind of play a similar position to you, or at least a similar kind of role with you, and Rui and, and Bertans and, uh, you know, even even Denny. H how do you envision you guys kind of working together? And, and how do you envision you guys complementing each other once you get going? Uh, well, I think you got to realize, like, you know, obviously, um, you know, I'm not. I'm not going to say it's a log jam, but I'm. Um, I'm going to say, you know, if you if you look at the the land landscape of the NBA, um, you know, teams always have a bunch of guys that are, you know, six six and above that can all play on the court at the same time. You know, this this league is is transformed into, you know, kind of positionless. And um, you know, if you have guys that know how to play basketball and defend at the high level at a high level. Um, then now you're in business. So, you know, I, I think it's a good problem to have, um, obviously for Wes and uh, the organization. Um, you know, I like to call it successful people problems, you know, because you have a lot of great talented players on, on one roster and, um, you know, it's always about sacrifice and, you know, trying to win, so. Thanks, Kyle. Yep. Matt. Hey Kyle, you kind of mentioned your reaction to the trade, but like right beforehand, you kind of rumored to go to Sacramento. So like, were, were you following it closely? Like, what was kind of your reaction when, you know, all right, it's the Wizards, not Sacramento. Well, yeah, you know, yeah, you know, it was. Um, I mean, it was essentially a done deal. You know, I thought I was going to Sac. Um, that's what I was hearing, and um, you know, getting ready for that move, and then at the eleventh hour, um, you know, not really the eleventh hour, but. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, the Wizards kind of came out of nowhere in that, in that rush deal, and you know, he wanted to get to L.A., and, you know, they made it happen. And, um, you know, I, I, I was excited about going to SAC, but then, you know, obviously the Washington thing came up, and I was ecstatic because, um, you know, ha having a chance to play with a, a superstar like uh, Brad Bill and, um, you know, an organization that's, you know, 
trying to win. You know, that's something that Brad wants to do bad. Um, you could just see how he, how he plays and how he carries himself. So um, having the opportunity to play for a team, have a big role, um, and, you know, have a, a great chance of going to the playoffs um, in the East, you know, can't beat that. It's perfect. Hello, Kyle. Chris Estelle from Greece. Hope you're doing well. What is, uh, from your perspective, what is the most impressive part and the most challenging part of this of uh, the next season for you as a wizard? Uh, say, say the last part for me. What is the most impressive and the most challenging part of the next season for you as a wizard? Um, the next, uh, the challenge. Um, you know. I've watched a lot of film uh, since I've been traded, you know, just trying to get, you know, familiar, uh, just try, try to, you know, see how the team is, you know, see how they play. Um, and I think the challenge is obviously, if you look at the team last year, unbelievable job offensive, uh, offensively, um, you know, granted, you know, new coach, everything this year. Um, but a lot of the same guys are still on the team uh, that played. And, you know, I think Washington, Washington was um, fifth, Fifth in the fifth in offense of points per game, um, which is great. But for me, um, I think the challenge is definitely going to be on that defensive end. Um, you know, I think uh, we were ranked thirtieth, um, you know, opponent points per game, and um, you know, that's something that has to, has to change. You know, I think uh, anytime you have a formidable defense, you get defensive rebound, then you know you got a chance in every game. And then if you add that to the fact that you know, you have guys like Brad, Rui, uh, uh, Bertans that can shoot the peel off the ball. Um, you know, and then adding KCP, me, Trez, Aaron Holiday, you know, um, we have a great chance, you know, competitive group. Um, and hopefully, you know, from day one, we just take it, you know, one day at a time. But, you know, defense is going to be uh, vital, vital for our season, vital for um, the chance to get to the playoffs and make some noise as well. So, And for the next season and for your presence in the team, what result will make you satisfied at the end of the season? Um, you know, just, I mean, you know, you got to get to the playoffs. I mean, that's, I mean, that's the only thing, you know, we play this game to, you know, to win games. Um, you know, I, I've been a part of winning uh, for the past two years and there's no better feeling. You know, uh, losing sucks, and um, you know that's the success. You know, if you can win, get to the playoffs, and continue to build and build the foundation and keep growing, um, that's a success to me. Thank you very much, Leonardo. Hi, Kyle. It's Leonardo Torres from Peru. Hope you're well. Kyle, what do you think you need to improve on your game, and what will be your main goal for this season? Um, just just continue to improve my whole game, really. Um, you know, I've done a great job this offseason of building my strength, uh, ball handling, and, you know, continue to, you know, add on what I did from shooting the ball from three this year. Uh, I think I had a really, really nice year um, of just having a consistent, um, you know, same type of jump shot. And um, doing that this offseason is only going to help me. So, um, you know, I'm just very excited to keep working and improving, um, you know, coming to this organization. Um, you know, Tommy has said that, you know, uh, the organization has big, um, high expectations for me. And, um, you know, I, I, I want to withhold that. So. Neil. Hey, Kyle. Neil DeLal from Hoop District. Welcome to DC. Spencer posted a video of you guys, you know, getting up shots, working out in Vegas. I'm just curious you know, what conversations have you guys started to have and maybe what conversations have you started to have with the rest of your teammates, you know, Brad included about how you foresee this season going? Uh, I mean, we have, we haven't, you know, dug deep into that. Um, you know, I'm sure as, uh, you know, September rolls on and, you know, guys uh, get into DC or, you know, even some of the guys are out in LA right now. Um, you know, I'm sure we'll have those conversations, but, um, you know, we, we, we got a lot of people on this team that I can, I can just tell and sense that, you know, have chips on their shoulders and they want to win. Um, you know, obviously adding, um, you know, coach on first year coach chip on his shoulder as well. So, um, yeah.
And I was reading in your Players Tribune article today, you know, you kind of wanted to take, start to take more of a leadership role um, as you mature in your NBA career. What did that, you know, look like to you? Is that pulling a young guy to the side and explaining stuff or how, how do you want that to go? No, I think, um, you know, being around some great leaders I've been around, um, you know, talking is one thing, but you have to do, you have to do, because if you don't, then, you know, people won't respect you. So, um, you know, just leading by example, you know, being one of the first, you know, few people in the gym every single day, um, hammer and film, you know, uh, holding myself accountable um, along with others, um, you know, just, you know, just doing things, you know, we had a saying in LA, um, you know, we, we don't have one leader, um, you know, all 17 guys on a roster, you know, er everyone's a leader. And if you present yourself like that um, and the whole team has that type of mentality, uh, the camaraderie is going to be there, accountability is going to be there. And um, the ability to, you know, kind of be cohesive will be there too. Thanks, Kyle. Welcome again. Last question to Chase. Yeah, Kyle, going back to you uh, saying you're pretty proud of how you shot the ball last year from outside and how you've improved in that way. Kind of what's next in that regard? Uh, how do, like, what are the next steps for you as a shooter? Is it, you know, getting open off screens? Is it off the dribble? Is it range? Um, what do you hope to continue to develop in that part of your game? Um, off the dribble. Um, that's something that I've really, really worked on this offseason. Um, you know, being able to, you know, whether it's pick and roll, uh, breaking the guy down, uh, getting just a quick, efficient shot, you know, whether that's off the dribble, um, you know, getting into the mid-range, you know, that's something that I really want to continue to try to um, improve on because um, I believe I can do it at a high level. So, um, yeah, I, I would say more, more so off the dribble. Um, you know, obviously every day in the gym, you're going to shoot catch and shoots. Um, you're going to be most comfortable shooting catch and shoots because it's, you know, the easiest style of shooting. But um, – I think for me to improve and get to another level is uh, definitely off the ball. I, I'm just wondering what your what your first reaction was and on finding out on on draft night that that you were going to be with the Wizards and kind of what that whole process was like for you. Uh, it was different. Obviously, I've never been traded before. So, sorry, excuse me. Uh, during the draft, I didn't really watch it much. I was just up hanging out at my brother's house, uh, eating some tacos. And then I get a call from my GM, and I already knew what it was going to be, uh, especially the time of the year. So I pretty much knew why he was calling. Uh, but he just let me know he traded me to the uh, Washington Wizards. And from there, you kind of get your mind around you're getting traded and moving to a new city. But soon after, you just think about the opportunity you have and going somewhere where they want you. They traded for you. So that's a, that's a blessing um, for me. And uh, yeah, so just getting my mind wrapped around going to DC. I know it's a great city, a big city. Uh, the fan base is, is crazy. We played you guys about four times at the end of the season. Only a few had game, a few games had fans, but yeah, just getting my mind wrapped around that and just excited for the opportunity. And, and they, um, I think this has kind of been a long time coming for them too, because I know they, they were like years ago, super impressed with their pre-draft workouts and and so I know they've they've liked you for a long time. Do you do you remember those pre-draft workouts? Do you, do you remember what it was like? Do you have good memories of those too? Yeah, the draft process is like the craziest process that I feel like any NBA player would go through, even just trying to make the NBA. But yeah, it was like one of my first workouts. It was either my first or second workout. And I think I had a pretty good workout for him, actually. Kareem. Hey, Aaron, Kareem Copeland from the Washington Post. Welcome. Appreciate it. Um, quick question. You know, I, I'm curious, you know, how much have you talked to um, Tommy and Wes about your role and how they can, how you kind of fit into this, you know, you know, very much changing roster that they'll be putting together next year and, and how you kind of envision yourself fitting in? I'm um, just, we just talked, uh, a little bit, obviously, when I got traded, I met with them um, in California. Just honestly finding my role. We haven't really had any specifics about that yet. But I mean, for my sub, I just want to come in and play. Uh, it doesn't matter if I come off the bench or start. I don't really care. I just want to hoop, honestly. Um, 
and I feel like I can fit pretty well with either starting or coming off the bench, uh, running the team. That's what I've been doing my whole life. Obviously in Indiana, I played more of the two position, but point guard is my position and I, I love playing point guard. So whether they start me or come bring me off the bench, I'll, I'll be ready to play for sure. And just a quick follow up is funny. We were talking to uh, Spencer Dinwiddie yesterday and he said, um, you know, he remembers the times playing against you and he flat out said, you know, he hated playing against you. He waited, hated the way you guarded him. And, mm -hmm. you know, I, I'm curious, you know, what's that feeling to hear, you know, a teammate, somebody like that say that and, and, and just curious if you could, could um, describe your kind of defensive mindset a little bit coming to a team that um, is really looking to improve in that area. Uh, that's awesome. <laughs> I'd like to say that he's one of the top players in our league. So him saying that, is a blessing, honestly. But I mean, I just try to get out there and play hard. Um, whether that's picking up full court or picking up at half court, just try to be aggressive, um, try to make the defend the offensive player do what I want him to do, whether that's our pick and roll coverage, forcing them down or over the screen and trying to fight to get back in front and keep guys in front of you. Um, defense is just like will and heart. And I feel like I could bring that to the team for sure. Whether that's me picking up full court and just trying to harass somebody or picking them up wherever they need me to do, be, but just, just try to get out there and play hard on defense. Cool, cool, appreciate it, welcome. Appreciate it. Chase. Hey man, uh, Chase Hughes, NBC Sports, welcome to DC. Um, you, uh, you're joining a team that has made a lot of changes in recent weeks, and I think all of us in the media are trying to kind of, trying to figure out what, what you guys are capable of. What stands out to you about the roster that uh, you're joining right now? Uh, I think the part that stands out the most is that we have, I feel like we have a good mixture of vets and uh, younger guys. Um, obviously with Brad at the top of that, uh, our leader this year, um, I feel like he's gonna have a lot to do with us, um, getting getting up for every game, playing hard, just based off how he plays. He plays so hard and he plays with uh, such confidence that it could obviously feed off on us younger guys, but it's just a great opportunity. Um, I feel like we can do a lot of good things this year. Um, I don't, I'm sure people are going to count us out because we just traded away Russ and all this stuff, but the group, the core group of guys that we got coming back and the core we got that just got traded over here, uh, I feel like we can make a lot of noise this year. And what excites you about the, the opportunity that you have um, individually, you know, at this stage in your career to, to change teams and, and have uh, the potential to play a pretty big role here? Man, you said it, just playing a big role. Um, I've been wanting to do that since I got into the NBA, honestly. My rookie year, I've wanted to play. So being able to be put in the position to actually have that opportunity, um, it's exciting. I'm ready to get started. I'm ready to get out there and pretty much prove to everybody how good I am and how good I could be. Christos? Hello, Aaron. Christos has been a great scooper, doing well. How you visioned your partnership with Bradley Bill and did you talk with him uh, all those days? Sorry, say that again. How you visioned your partnership on the floor with Bradley Bill and uh -huh. did you talk with him uh, those days? Um, I haven't spoke with him just yet. Uh, I think after I got traded, he might have texted me, but not in person. Um, but I mean, I could fit with him pretty well. Um, I'm a point guard. I could obviously get him the ball wherever he needs to be and him being such a great scorer on all levels it won't be that hard to get him good looks because he can pretty much create. So I just have to give him the ball. But um, offensive and defensively, uh, we can play well, uh, play off each other. I could play off of anybody I feel like on the team, but it's going to be easy playing off of him for sure. And what is your main expectation for the upcoming season? Um, for myself or for our team? Both. Um, I don't really have expectation for our team. I feel like we can go however far we we want to. Um, as long as we just play the right way, play hard, I feel like sky's the limit for us, um, honestly. And for myself, I just want to come in and help my team win. Whatever that takes, if it's uh, shooting the ball, passing the ball, whatever, playing defense, whatever they need me to do, I'm going to try to do and just help my team win. Thank you very much. Good luck. Appreciate it. Neil. Hey, Aaron. Neil, the Law Hoop District. Welcome to DC. Appreciate you it. You touched on it a little bit. 
what do you expect to bring from the defensive aspect to this team? Obviously, the Wizards are looking to make a bigger jump from last season to this season. Um, personally, I just feel like I could bring energy. Uh, when you see somebody picking up full court, even trying to pressure up, I feel like it just brings energy to the whole team, and that can get other guys going on the defensive end. So my main goal is to try to bring some energy out there. And when the Wizards brought you guys in, the the new group for, you know, jerseys and seeing all of that stuff, mm -hmm. did you guys out of the five of you, you know, get a chance to talk anything about, you know, what you guys envision for the upcoming season, or has it not really gotten to that point yet? It hasn't got to that point yet. Uh, we were just trying to enjoy our time together, uh, obviously meet new guys. They came from the Lakers, so they knew each other, but, and Spencer came from Brooklyn, but um, just meet new guys, uh, trying to get familiar with that and eventually we'll get there. Thanks. Welcome again. Appreciate it. Brenton. Welcome to DC, Aaron. Thank you. Um, first question, Summer League is going on right now. Of course, you played in Summer League back, I believe it was 2018. What was the biggest thing you gleaned from Summer League? And um, what's one thing that you would kind of encourage the young guys to do who are going that route and plant, participating in those games uh, as they look to participate in the NBA in the future? One thing I would tell them, the guys going through it right now, is just to play hard. Because um, you're playing for every team in the NBA. Everybody's there right now. So just play hard, continue to try to put your best foot forward. Um, whether that's on the defensive end, offensive end, whatever you do good, try to try to do that all the time. It's hard, I know that, but you know, we just got to try to do and try to fit in the best way we can. Uh, what I took from Summer League was physicality aspect of it. Um, guys are more athletic, guys are more, um, they play at a different pace, a different tempo. Um, so it was just a little adjustment, which was good playing in summer league before I got to the NBA, because it kind of shows you the ropes a little bit. And excuse me if I already, somebody already asked this, but what was the first thing that went through your mind once you got the notification that you were being traded to Washington? Um, I mean, Obviously, I was sad I had to leave uh, Indiana, but it's a new opportunity. Uh, you just, it's just a mind switch, mind change, uh, going to a different city, meeting new guys, meeting a new team, new coach, but it's excitement. Uh, I get to get out here and have opportunity to play and produce and help my team win. That's like all any NBA or basketball player ever dreams of, getting out there and playing and helping your team win. So I'm for sure excited about that. Appreciate you, brother. Welcome to DC. Thank you. Chase. Um, Aaron, you've um, put up some pretty good numbers as a three-point shooter so far in your career. Um, as you move forward, what, where do you kind of hope to take that? Um, I feel like I'll always be able to shoot the ball. Now it's more so me trying to do other things uh, that I have the ability to do, which is get to the basket, make plays for my teammates. Um, and just obviously shooting the ball at a high level. Um, I want to shoot above 40%. So it's time to start now. I mean, working out all season, I mean, all summer, even during the season, just working on my jump shot. Also including getting my teammates involved, getting to the paint, making plays for everybody else. Uh, that's another thing I feel like I'm pretty good at. So that's something I want to bring to the table. We might be having technical difficulties. Aaron, I think you cut out briefly, so you might just want to go back on that question. I have another question. OK. Um, so I'm sure you get asked all the time uh, about your family. Um, yeah. um, very, very successful family. But what was it like seeing uh, Drew this summer um, win a title and a gold medal? That's a pretty extraordinary. Uh, string of accomplishments there. Yeah, I was happy for him. Uh, it's obviously hasn't been done many times by many players. So he might be like the fifth or sixth, him and uh, Chris Middleton might be the fifth or sixth player to win a championship and a gold medal in the same year. <clears throat> but yeah, it was exciting. I was happy I was able to get out there and watch him hoop. It's the second time I've seen NBA championship. My other brother, Justin, won with the Warriors. So 
Yeah, it's a blessing. It's an awesome time. Awesome to be there. Awesome to support my brother. And now it's just time for me to get one.